microphone to me is your main tool and you want to accomplish as much of dialing in the sound with what you can do just by moving a microphone around or picking the right microphone. Eventually you will come to rely on some additional processing, but the more you can get done just with the microphone itself, the better your recordings are going to turn out. I'd say the biggest thing that I look for when I'm trying to compare a microphone, if it's a microphone I'm gonna purchase for myself and wanna use on a lot of things, is how well it reacts to you know, variances in placement. I want to be able to move it all around. I love the Neumann U67 because there's not really a bad spot on it. Um, you can kind of move around the whole mic and just find different things that will work for certain parts. Um, I feel like the 440 does that as well. And a lot of that comes down to proximity effect and how the you know, EQ balance of the microphone changes as you move it around. Definitely one mistake that I think people make starting out is you know, going for brighter microphones and thinking that that's better. You're creating an arrangement and the tonal balance of the instruments in the arrangement is extremely key to having every, making everything be able to be heard and have a voice but not step on each other. I think the one thing that people fall into a lot is they've got the one mic that they think is amazing and they want to use it on everything. And when you do that, you're selling yourself short because changing different microphones is how you can start to create a mix that balances itself out. So people start, you know, they get hung up on one microphone and all of a sudden everything's got the same EQ curve and it's all, everything's fighting for the same bandwidth in a mix. When really, not everything needs to sound bright. Um, not everything needs to sound big. 